Lowering prices to increase sales is a popular marketing tool, but it is important that increasing sales means increasing total revenue, and not just simply unit sales. Whether lower prices lead to higher total revenue depends on how elastic demand is to lower prices. When a firm faces a downward sloping demand curve, it must search for the maximum profit price. A firm in monopoly or monopolistic competition is such a price searcher. A downward sloping demand curve. Means that more could be sold only at a lower price, high price, low quantity, low price, high quantity. Single pricing means that one uniform price applies to all the units sold. In other words, to sell just one more unit, the seller must lower the price for all other units. If the firm can charge only a single price to all buyers, it must balance the additional quantity sold due to a lower price and the lower revenue from each unit sold. If the percentage change in quantity sold is greater than the percentage change in price, total revenue will increase when a lower price is charged. When that happens, demand is said to be elastic, and the elasticity of demand has an absolute value greater than one. For example, a 10% price decrease leading to a 20% quantity increase will give you an elasticity of demand with an absolute value greater than one. Let's look at the effect of price decrease on total revenue when demand is elastic. The blue rectangular area in the lower panel and the vertical distance in the upper panel both represent total revenue. The vertical distance in the upper panel simply maps the rectangular area in the lower panel as more units are sold at lower prices. Total revenue increases as price decreases because demand is elastic. In other words, the percentage increase in quantity more than offsets the percentage decrease in price. Because a single price must be charged to all buyers, at some point the percentage change in quantity will be just equal to the percentage change in price. Total revenue stays the same when price is decreased. When that happens, demand is said to be unit elastic, and the elasticity of demand has an absolute value equal to one. For example, a 10% price decrease leading to a 10% quantity increase. Will give you an elasticity of demand with an absolute value equal to one. Total revenue reaches the maximum when demand is unit elastic. Any further price decrease beyond the maximum total revenue point will lead to lower revenue because the percentage change in quantity will be smaller than the percentage change in price. When that happens, demand is said to be inelastic, and the elasticity of demand has an absolute value less than one. For example, a 10% price decrease leading to a 5% quantity increase will give you an elasticity of demand with an absolute value less than one. Total revenue decreases as price decreases when demand is inelastic. When demand is inelastic, total revenue could be increased by increasing price instead of decreasing price. As you can see, a constant slope demand curve 
does not mean constant demand elasticity along the whole length of the demand curve. To the left of the midpoint, demand is elastic. At midpoint, demand is unit elastic. To the right of the midpoint, demand is inelastic. As this equation shows, demand elasticity at any given point must take into account both the slope of the demand curve as well as the relative position of price charge and quantity demanded.